Britain is apparently facing its worst winter for 100 years, with snowfall expected from as early as November. Now, if you've got a car with all-wheel drive, you probably think you're properly prepared. But are you? We've come to Tamworth Snowdome in the Midlands to find out if a front-wheel drive car with winter tyres has more traction in the snow than one with all-wheel drive on summer tyres. For this, we're using two Ford Cougars. Both have two-litre diesel engines and both have manual gearboxes. The only difference is the blue one is front-wheel drive and the grey one is all-wheel drive. Before we do that, though, we need to see how far up the slope the front-wheel drive car goes on its summer tyres. OK, then here we are. Front-wheel drive car, summer tyres. Don't think I'm going to be getting particularly far up this slope, but let's see what happens anyway. <laughs> We're not moving anymore. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty useless. We measured the distance and found it stopped at seven metres, but that's not too surprising. In cold conditions, the rubber in summer tyres becomes harder and therefore less grippy. That's why winter tyres use a softer compound. They also have a tread pattern that's specifically designed to pick up snow. And if you've ever built a snowman, you will know that nothing grips to snow better than snow itself. So let's find out if when we fit the front wheel drive car with winter tyres, it can go further up the slope than the all wheel drive version of the Cougar on summer tyres. The winter tyres we're using are Goodyear Ultra Grip 8 Performance, which costs £720 a set for our car. Road tester Owen Mildenhall will be helping out by driving the 4x4 version of the Cougar, which incidentally costs £1,500 more than the two-wheel drive model. So now I'm in the front-wheel drive car again, but this time it's got the winter tyres on it, and it's going to be interesting to see how much further it gets up this slope, and whether it can go further up there than the all-wheel drive model on summer tyres, so. Okay, so we've got four-wheel drive, but summer tyres. Now, a lot of people with four-wheel drive think that's all they're gonna need when it snows. So let's see how we get on. It's a really steep incline with thick snow from a standing start. It's the worst scenario you can have. So let's see how we get on. It is pretty steep. Off we go. Got some grip. This time, I got away easily. And driving in first gear and maintaining the revs at 2,000 RPM, the front-wheel drive Cougar powered up the slope. Owen, on the other hand, was going nowhere. Straight away, I'm not going any further, it just digs into the snow. Well, that's at the first level and he's just, yeah, he's not doing so well. Just no traction, even with four-wheel drive. He's stuck, in fact, is he sliding back? That was easy peasy, that's up the second slope, go around this corner, can I make it all the way to the top? Can I? This is tricky, tricky, tricky. We're bogging now, that's it. <laughs> traction control like that enough. Once again, we measured the distances. This time, with winter tyres on, the front-wheel drive Cougar went 110 metres up the slope, stopping just a few metres from the top. The all-wheel drive car on summer tyres, however, only made it 13 metres up before sliding back down 9 metres. That means that, in the end, it actually ended up no higher up the slope than the front-wheel drive car did when it was on summer tyres. For fairness, we should show you what the all-wheel drive Cougar can do when you've got it fitted with winter tyres. Now with summer tyres, it really didn't get very far on the slope, maybe two car lengths and then slid all the way back down again. Um, obviously it's not permanent four-wheel drive, so with the summer tyres the front wheels start spinning and by the time the rear wheels come into play, the cars are already stuck. So now we've got winter tyres and let's just see how big a difference we get. Okay, off we go. So just nice and gently on the clutch, off we get moving. Amazing difference as we go. It's just incredible. So no wheel spin, loads of grip. Absolutely incredible difference. This time, the all-wheel drive version of the Kegel went all the 136 metres up the ski slope. Obviously, the best solution for driving on snow is to have an all-wheel drive vehicle on winter tyres. But without the right rubber, an all-wheel drive car is just as useless as a two-wheel drive one. This test was all about traction, but the improved braking capability winter tyres give you is actually far more important, and having all-wheel drive won't help you with that one bit. In fact, if you want to see how much better your braking is with winter tyres, not only on snow, but also when it's just wet and cold, click here to watch our video. And don't forget, make sure you drive safely.